Today we celebrate something that's unique to our sanctuary. It's the trifecta jubilee, which is three celebrations in one. The first is a big one this year. It's Negra's 50th birthday. And the second is another milestone, the 15 year arrival anniversary of Negra and her group of seven to Chimpanzee Sanctuary Northwest, which happened in 2008. And the third is Terry, it's 33rd birthday. And Terry is one of the newest chimps to arrive at the sanctuary just two years ago. So um, obviously I've been doing a lot of reminiscing and a lot, a lot of thinking about Negra and when I first met her and when she arrived to the sanctuary. So I just wanted to make a video basically about that and about her and maybe a way to tell her story a little bit more. So the first thing that you should know about Negra is that she is the queen of Chimpanzee Sanctuary Northwest, and she's actually had that status within her group since before she arrived to the sanctuary. So she's not the boss or the alpha of her group, as she doesn't really have the desire or the energy to take on that role. But she does have the respect of her group mates, and she certainly demands the respect from her human caregivers. I met Negra when we were both 34 years old. When she was still living at the Buckshire Corporation in Pennsylvania, the laboratory holding facility, before she came to the sanctuary. We don't know exactly how old Negra is. The records that we have say that she was captured in Africa as an infant in 1973. So we're thinking that that would also be her birth year. However, we've seen other records with a name Negra and a chimpanzee captured that said 1968. So she might be a few years older than that. But in my mind, when I met her, we were the same age, 34. We don't know where Negra came from exactly. Our best guess would be that she came from the western part of equatorial Africa because that's where a lot of captive chimpanzees originated. In any case, when I met Negra, I still felt pretty young, but she struck me as pretty old. Chimpanzees do not have as long a lifespan as humans, and 34 is well beyond middle age. Plus, in spirit, I suspect that Negra has always been, I guess, what you would call somewhat of an old soul. And by that, I mean that her favorite activity is napping. <laughs> While her groupmates are out exploring, she's frequently curled up under a blanket. She can also be endearingly grumpy with the humans when we aren't giving her exactly what she wants when she wants it. <laughs> So I thought I would just read what I wrote on the blog when I first met her, when I first visited with her at Buckshire before that group came to the sanctuary. And I called this blog post Negra Nesting. Negra is a large chimpanzee with a Buddha-style belly. She's surprisingly pale, given her name, partly because her face is naturally not as dark as many chimpanzees, and partly because she lived without sunlight for most of her life. She shows her age. It's hard to picture Negra as an infant clinging to her mother as her family traversed the forest of her African home. She was captured from this home in 1973, only a few years before it became illegal to import chimpanzees into the U.S. from the wild. Her mother and other family members were probably killed in order to capture Negra to bring her to the United States. Among other things, Negra was forced to produce infant chimpanzees who were to be sold into research. She had three babies taken away from her for this purpose. Negra was denied the opportunity to raise her own children as she would have in the wild, but she maintains a maternal quality which has probably helped her in her leadership role at Buckshire. Her calm physical presence alone clearly relaxes the less dominant individuals of the group. She has been described as the queen of her clan, and it is easy to see why. During my visit, Negra did not seek my attention until I began to hand out newspaper. She took every piece of newspaper that was offered to her 
and then went to what was clearly her spot on the platform ledge of the last cage. She carefully folded and placed each sheet of paper to make her small nest, a natural instinct in chimpanzees. After giving out the newspaper, I would occasionally go over to Negra's side of the building and quietly call her name. She would immediately, although slowly, get up, come over, and look into my eyes. I would give her a handful of peanuts, she would softly grunt, and then return to her bed. The regular enrichment given to the chimpanzees at Buckshire consists mainly of newspaper, peanuts, hard plastic balls, which Negra showed no interest in, and occasionally some special treat, like snow from outside. It's a far cry from what she needs and deserves. It's difficult to say how many more years Negra will live, but she clearly needs and deserves to live out the rest of her life in a sanctuary. Negra deserves to be forever free from the fear of life as a laboratory subject. She deserves to have choices in her life. She deserves to have room to walk, run, and climb. She deserves to have access to the outdoors. She deserves a daily supply of a wide variety of food. And she deserves lots and lots of blankets so she can finally make the bed that will truly make her feel content. So, Negra, as predicted, is one of the best nesters at the sanctuary. Sometimes we can barely make her out in the giant pile of blankets that she uses to construct her nests. What we didn't predict is that 15 years later, Negra would not only still be with us, making nests fit for a queen, but she would still play rough with her friends, and she continues to surprise us with her occasional spontaneous adventures. Like earlier this year, when she walked to the very top of the newly expanded outdoor enclosure, Young's Hill, for the first time, and she climbed Carlene's Tower under the pine trees. Or only yesterday, when she ventured outside in a sea of grass, looking for some wild greens to eat. Personally, I feel a lot older than when we first met more than 15 years ago, but somehow Negra hasn't seemed to age much at all. Every day of sanctuary is precious. We feel this even more since Negra's friend Jody passed away at the end of April. For Negra, for Terry, and for all of the chimpanzees and the bovines too, every day of sanctuary is only possible because of the support from hundreds of people across the country and beyond. We've been able to grow the sanctuary and hire skilled and loving caregivers because of you. Thank you, thank you to everyone who has made Negra's last 15 years of sanctuary just the way she wanted. <laughs>